The DEA warns of a new threat on the horizon, meth, now laced with fentanyl. And the lethal opioid is 100 times more powerful than morphine, and it's changing everything, making the war on meth even more dangerous for law enforcement. We have seen fentanyl um, laced in pretty much every drug you can think of coming across. We've seen it in marijuana, we've obviously seen it in heroin, we've seen it in methamphetamine, and we've seen it in cocaine, the major drugs that we, we deal with. The mere thought of fentanyl being mixed with methamphetamine, meth is already scary enough, but the minute you throw fentanyl into it, if we start having seizures like that, we're gonna start having an increase in, in overdose fatalities. Yeah, it is scary stuff. Right, you heard him talk about the deadly impact of mixing fentanyl and methamphetamine. Doctors say it's also incredibly addictive to use the two together and that it makes withdrawal twice as tough. Both of those are much more likely to create addiction and subsequently people are gonna keep going back to buy the product. But we're also seeing then as a result of that some deaths. Addiction is a really, really tough disease to, to battle and it's the withdrawal most of the time that keeps people in this disease. Not so much wanting to get high anymore, although that's there, but it's um, feeling sick and feeling really bad as they're withdrawing that keeps people using substances. And if somebody's withdrawing from methamphetamine and withdrawing from opioids at the same time, that's even harder to, to keep from using. And it doesn't just put the life of the user in danger. Yeah, the introduction of fentanyl forced law enforcement to change how they do things in the field. An undercover agent showed us their special suits because just breathing in the drug can be deadly. All sealed up and I still have gloves on. But you cannot assume that is just methamphetamine. Whether it's absorption through the skin, but your, your biggest danger is your airway and, and your eyes. We want to take every precaution we can to ensure that we go home every night to our wife and kids. Everything about what I was doing and um, figured out a new way to live. Next on Chronicle, breaking the cycle, how Beth found hope and healing and her message for anyone struggling with addiction.